It's night time in the jungle. This is Duncan Fisher bringing you another fierce assault match. The jungle season is coming to a close, and tonight's game is the last batch of new faces we'll see. One guy to watch is Spectre. He's a one-man army, a serious power player who has really been on a roll. I'm sure he'll give us one heck of a performance tonight. The assault season so far has been a real battle. You have so many big names and elite pilots competing for recognition that no one has really stood out. I feel like every match anyone could come out on top. There have been some real nail biters this season, and tonight's game doesn't look any different. It's Alaris time. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. That guy is out of here. Enemy detected. A lot of the pilots who come through the ranks to the assault matches are used to being the best of the best. Object destroyed. From Merc Jock to Sol
This is assault competition. Look at them down there. They are the leanest and meanest bunch of pilots you'll ever see. Just one man left. He did it again, folks. That's right, Spectre, the Merc Maverick, has destroyed all who stood before him. He now qualifies for the Jungle Championship. The competition at the championship level is fierce, but I think this kid has all it takes. He has the skill, he has the moves, and man does he have the drive. It has been an incredible day today, Solaris fans. This is Duncan Fisher, live from the jungle, signing off. It's factory time, mech fans. This is Duncan Fisher live from the rubble heap. We have the real heavy metal assembled on the field, and these warriors are going to fight for dominance. One of the favorites tonight is Marcus Wilder, a veteran Solaris jock who has really been coming into his own. Let's see how he does tonight. You know what that means. about the assault class matches. You've got the meanest, toughest, and nastiest mechs that ever came off a of mech works assembly line, battling it out with every weapon you can think of. And the talent here is... It looks like Spectre wants to take first today. He's just nailed his second pilot for the match. Enemy detected. Pilots do well in the field, then come to Solaris and do well for themselves. But this Spectre is really showing what transition is all about. Three folks go home losers just because they underestimated this guy. There is a real trend in recent years. I see more and more clan technology on the field. I always want to shake those guys and say, Hey, you remember who we fought a war with a few years back? I admit it, I am a purist. I like seeing the Atlas or the Highlander strut his stuff. But when you get some... Ouch! Spectre has taken out four! Again! Target destroyed.
The stadium is lit up and ready for the next Coliseum match of the season. This is Duncan Fisher reporting to you live. We're pretty late in the Coliseum season, and there promises to be plenty of action before the end. The mechs out on the field have spared no expense. There is more firepower here than there is in some regiments. It's going to be one heck of a slugfest tonight. Solaris time! Kapow! One less mech on the field. Enemy detected. This is Kaylee Terrell's third year, and she has been mainly competing in the Coliseum Assault. In almost every match, you'll see someone take the Atlas, which many consider the king of this class. I think that the new Sunders give them a run for their money. They have eyes on a roll. That's three chalk marks for Spectre. Enemy detected. for Kayla tonight. The home crowd is going nuts. She's enemy number one in this neighborhood. I hear she needs a whole pack of bodyguards to keep Steiner hooligans away from her. Last week she decked some Steiner fans so hard he was... Spectre does it again. The crowd is going wild here tonight. The Coliseum Assault Circuit is considered by some to be the real proving ground for championship pilots. And today a Merc turned pro Solaris jock has earned his place in the Coliseum Championship. That was a phenomenal performance. At the beginning of the season, nobody knew this guy. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say we haven't seen the end of this kid this season. This is Duncan Fisher in the stands and signing off.